think it's way too windy, so if the wind noise suddenly stops, you know, I've redone the audio. But um, the title says Australian Bush Schools, but uh, this video is actually about Gippsland in Victoria Bush Schools. But the reason I put Australian Bush Schools is that I mean, I'm sure people do it, do go looking for them, but if you're the type of urban explorer that doesn't like want all the locations given to you with um, GPS coordinates, you know, you like the hunt. You enjoy the hunt and not having everything handed to you on a platter. Oh, the wind stopped. But anyway, yeah, if you enjoy the hunt, uh, this might be something you enjoy. I mean, I still use the internet for this. I use the internet to get a list of all the old schools in Gippsland. I've got this CFA book, which is a country fire authority a map directory. And sometimes that just says, you know, school abandoned, school disused, or something like that. Well, I even check any schools if they're if they're out of uh, town. So you also use the internet for that. You can one, you can see whether it's still in use. You can use Google Maps to see if it still exists. Yeah, so you still use the internet. Sometimes they've just moved. Yeah, other times they've been turned into houses. Sometimes they're locked up, good and proper. Sometimes, like some of the ones I've been showing you, on their last legs. Yeah, but most of them you'll find are gone. And then other times you get to where the school should be, like Mole Bridge School, 2439. And all that's left is the bridge and a vacant lot where the school used to be. So you don't always strike gold. Even when there's nothing like this side here, you can still see the handball court. You probably consider that a fail, but it's also a success. You've sort of you can tick it off your list or whatever. So there is or was. That's not a primary school. There was a primary school out there called Trafalgar East Primary. Um, I have seen online that it is someone is living here. But just for the sake of video, let's have a little look. I don't mind driving around like this. Beautiful day, you know, get out in the bush. Yeah, that's it. This looks like a school portable. Yeah, now you can see it. So I'm not going to even bother getting out with this. But that's... Someone's now living there. So yeah, so sometimes you... You strike it. It's a weird house because it's like a portable sort of thing. It's a school portable. But um, yeah, sometimes you strike out. They're gone. Sometimes they're there but locked up. Sometimes they're there and you can get into them. Sometimes they're gone. Anyway, trap these primary. It's not like in the city where you're just walking around streets or whatever. This is, you know, you, you find other stuff while you're looking for these locations. Originally I got into bush schools. A while back I went and checked out a school called Jumbuck and in the meantime, I'd heard that it may have been burnt down. I think it was like, whatever, seven years ago that I first did it. So, yeah, I recently went back and it reminded me of a few other schools that I'd checked. Yeah, it sort of got me interested in it again. So I thought I'd get my old CFA directory out and go through it all. I, one of my problems is I'm not very good at ticking it off. I, I'll go for three hours out in the bush and get to the school and find nothing there apart from a bench. I go, oh yeah, I've been here before. Yeah, so there'll be a bit of that happening with me, but you'll be more organised than me, of course. But as I said before, you know, while you're out and about looking for these places, I mean, you can even use your old directories or the internet to find you know, old town halls, churches, even houses. Some of them are quite interesting. I've never really been into houses, but sometimes you find one that's got everything left in it. Um, they can be interesting. So this school that I'm posting a few photos of here is only recently shut down. Like most of these schools, if you could figure out where they were from my video, I'd rather you not go and vandalise it. I think anyone that was going to travel that far 
and to that much effort just to vandalise an old school, you probably need help. But anyway, but this school, I don't really want it to get vandalised. I'd hate for it to get vandalised, so I'm not going to tell you where this one is because it's still in good nick. But, um, yeah, there's so many schools around. Let me know if you find any. Yeah, so this is another one, but this one's really well kept. As you can see, so I would say this one's still used. They responded. So sometimes, oh, that's a nice old one. But yeah, it's still used. Not sure what for, but. I noticed that Fogarty Avenue has a abandoned school folder on his YouTube channel, so I'll chuck a link somewhere for that. Uh, it was weird, I also noticed when I did my trestle video that uh, he commented on that and I went to catch up on his YouTube page and his last post was a trestle bridge video so maybe we've got a bit more in common if you add the drain other stuff abandoned buildings I don't know if you're listening to this or watching this and you decide to come out Gippsland one maybe we can hook up and do a, a collaboration sometimes you get lucky like with the case of Yolunga Primary School uh, it was open from 1883 to 1971 uh, had about 30 students in it as you'll soon see it's pretty dilapidated it's a shame that someone can't come in and do something with it apparently the headmaster's house used to be just beside it so I'm, there's a farmhouse out the back i'm wondering whether that could be it but anyway let's go in and have a look <coughs> so this one's oh, buddy. oh there you go copper walls already i might tell you where a couple of these schools are but because they're already pretty much trashed. Yeah, there's not a lot to it. Beautiful view. Like, um, you can, uh, I don't know if you can read that. Used to be able to read it, but last time I came here I could read it. I might post the photos I've got from last time. Place there, not much to it. They obviously had electricity, but uh, yeah, it must have been hard back in those days, freezing cold. One's actually got a friend that went to this school, so you know, an older friend, obviously, but it's still got a good atmosphere. Like, um, there's an old, I don't know what that was, tennis courts or something. You've been vandalized. I mean, you have to be a bit of a dickhead to come out and vandalize something like this. It's already fallen apart. Plus it's got landmines around it. Landmines being cow shit. I think somewhere I've got a photo of it swinging on that. Okay, see ya, Yolunga Primary School. And there's another sign of electricity. Yeah, so not a lot to see, but, but uh, we'll have a look if you're in the area. This one, but the neighbours, you know, don't want you hanging around. Um, yeah, like starting to fall apart now. It's weird. It says Flinstead School number two nine double four, and it says Upper Flins Creek School number two three double one. And sometimes you get there, um, and the school is still there, but it's it's uh, locked up or. In this case, the neighbours really don't like people going near it. Um, yeah, 
so this one's still you can see the sign out the front A bit of a luck of the draw. I've got about a dozen more to check. Probably ten of those won't be explorable. 